giving $4.5 billion to a Texas oil company is a failure of leadership that shows that Prime Minister Trudeau has no vision for the future. The Prime Minister is spending $4.5 billion to create what Kinder Morgan has indicated would mean fewer than 3,000 jobs. That's almost $1.8 million per job, jobs that are short-term and won't be there for the next generation. This is a bad deal that won't solve anything. What Kinder Morgan is asking for is a pathway to a yes. They're looking for certainty. They're looking for uh, the ability to overcome these delays. He has done nothing to assert federal jurisdiction. He has done nothing to fast track references around constitutional questions. Uh, he has done none of those things. All he has done is force Canadian taxpayers to pay for his failure. He's trying to buy his way out of a problem. You are looking back though, sir, and I'm wondering if you were in control of the situation today, what is one move that you would make to we ensure that We would create that, that certainty. We would, we would show project proponents that the federal government will be, under a conservative government, would be their champion by quickly settling any constitutional questions, any jurisdictional questions. We would be enforcing uh, the rule of law when it comes to upholding court decisions that have allowed these things to go ahead. We would create the confidence in the investment sector by repealing C-69, by lifting the ban on Canadian energy exports, by uh, removing the double standard regulation on upstream and downstream emissions. That would show the sector the confidence that it had prior to 2015 when these projects were applied for, put through rigorous scrutiny and built. Canada has just committed, um, just in terms of buyer beware, uh, a, a, an historic blunder with taxpayer dollars. The 4.5 billion announced by Finance Minister Morneau and Natural Resources Minister Carr this morning, 4.5 billion is to buy the existing infrastructure, the existing asset. Building the expansion is another blank check, but this time the Government of Canada will be writing the check to itself because there is no private sector investor. They've announced that they will try to find a private sector investor. I submit if there were private sector investors, Kinder Morgan would have found them. Kinder Morgan has been looking for investors and looking for long-term contracts ever since they announced this project in 2013 and they've come up empty.